Joining us in the studio is Professor Leonard Ganser, an expert on gas and oil deposits. Now, that's exactly what people are afraid of, that the gas might escape again. What do you think? How high is the risk? Well, the risk for the gas to leak out of that reservoir um, is actually quite low because uh, this was a gas reservoir before and the gas was uh, maintained there for millions of years. Mm -hmm. But the gas is being pumped down under high pressure. Couldn't that also cause um, the geological stability to, to break? For example, micro earthquakes or something could happen? Well, this, uh, this risks would only occur if you exceed the initial reservoir pressures which in this case is not uh, happening mm -hmm. because during the production phase, this, the depletion phase of that reservoir, uh, the pressures were reduced dramatically. So that uh, amount of CO2 which will be injected will not cause that effect. Mm -hmm. But we wouldn't uh, want any more carbon dioxide in the air. We know at low concentrations it's harmless, but at higher concentrations it's poisonous, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. But you're not afraid of it to happen. Okay. What about, what about the energy, actually, that's being used for this whole process? Um, it goes down, as we've heard, um, by about 20%. Uh, does it still make sense in, in an economical way? Oh, yes. Uh, in certain occasions, it certainly makes a lot of sense. Uh, near coal plants, uh, where lots of CO2 uh, will be generated, there, this is a, a realistic solution for some of those coal plants. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the goal behind it is to save our climate. Is it good for that? Um, well, on the long term, we'll need other solutions, certainly. But for a transition period, it will relieve uh, uh, the environment to some mm -hmm. extent. To some extent. I mean, we have like 350 million tons of carbon dioxide just from our um, coal plants. Uh, what's the part we could actually store underground in Germany? It will be a small part. Um, as long as we're considering the gas reservoirs only, uh, if we add the aquifer, saline aquifer structures, it will of course be a larger portion, mm -hmm. which has not been investigated so far. Uh -huh. But right now we're just probing and testing the yes. technology and it might take another 15 to 20 years till it's actually ready to be used on a bigger scale. So till then all the renewables uh, might have evolved and we can produce our energy from the sun and the wind. Do we still need it? Well, the, the lifespan of such a coal plant exceeds uh, 30, 40 years, so we will still need that. What about other countries like China? Well, there is lots of coal um, or CO2 injection, uh, CO2 production in these countries and we will certainly need uh, CCS technologies to be applied there. Thanks a lot for You're the welcome. talk, Professor Ganser.